and here we go. Welcome everybody and welcome to Wednesday night virtual track workout. I am hoping that we can eventually make it back to Santa Monica High School where we have been uh, sponsored by the LA Running Club for 25 years now, 24, excuse me, almost 25. And um, let me uh, show you a picture. For those of you who didn't see this, um, here is a picture of a giant leaf. And I know normally we, I ask that you don't look at your cell phone, especially while you're walking, running, whatever you're doing. But take a moment, take a look at this image because I'm going to be discussing this evil, horrid leaf later on in today's theme story about the difference between pro athletes and non-pro athletes. I will tie it all in to that very leaf. Um, tonight's workout, for those of you who wanna see it in advance, is right here. And uh, I don't know, whoops, wrong screen. I'm sharing the wrong screen. Uh, let me try that one again. Um, while I'm looking to share the screen with our workout on it, um, let me say that, here it is, here we go. Um, let me say, in terms of safety, before we begin our warm up, in terms of safety, be really careful out there. Drink more because of the air quality. Certainly, if you feel lightheaded or fatigued, the air quality may be affecting you. You may not be getting enough oxygen. Please stop before you pass out and hit your head on the ground. Uh, I think that's a really good idea. Um, the, the other thing is, is, let me see if I can't lower this. Um, here we go. Um, whoops. Uh, the other thing is be really careful of uneven, here's our workout for this evening, of uneven sidewalks or curbs, or if you're running around a parking lot, be careful of those little curbs that cars back up toward. So be really careful of your surroundings and you don't have to see me. I'm just a face on a screen while we do this. If there's any reason for you to look at me, we will stop and I'll say, hey, look at me. We'll do that with the warm up and then the stretch at the end. But while you're running, including our warm up, um, just listen and don't even worry about looking at me at all. Here's our warm up. We're doing, uh, we're engaging faster muscles, high intensity. We're doing two minutes at the longest volume and then 130 and one minute and even down to 45 seconds for our shortest distance this evening. Um, all designed to engage faster, recruit faster muscles that may even be dormant. So that's what we're working on, speeding you up on the shorter distance in a nutshell, that's what we're doing. So let me get rid of this and let you guys, let's start warming up. And our warm up begins this evening as it always does. The warm ups are always the same, the workouts always change. Our warm up is five minutes. So our walkers just walk briskly for five, actually walk, walk at a comfortable pace uh, uh, for five minutes. Our runners jog at an extremely comfortable pace for your warm up. And run walkers, you can run walk, but remain at a very comfortable pace. This is just a warm up, it is not any kind of an exertion. Um, and we are at five minutes and I'll keep talking and you don't need to look at me whatsoever. And here we go, five minute warm up. And just an added suggestion for our run walkers. Um, you know, you can do a, ro a run or a jog in this case until you still, now I'm just talking about the warm up, until you start feeling yourself breathing a little harder and then just walk. Forget about a timed walk, run, forget that. Just when you feel yourself breathing a little more, because we're not talking about marathon, run, walk, race pace, we're talking about a warm up here, just a really slow, easy warm up for everybody. Runners, just jog it, walkers, slow walk. And, and run walkers, like I said, when you, you feel yourself breathing a little, then walk. And when you stop feeling yourself breathing, then jog a little bit and see how you do. Um, and we are at about one minute 
into our five minute warm up. This is gonna be followed by active stretches, which I'll show you what to do while you're standing in place and you can look at me while we do them. And then we have some plyometrics, a little jumping up and down if you wanna do that, or you can do them just stepping in place very gently, uh, especially if, if anyone is just getting over an injury. Um, and um, then we're gonna have a little more warm up, and by seven o'clock, we will begin our high intensity workout. We're a minute 30, a little over into our just warm up jog. I do wanna thank a bunch of groups for sponsoring and for um, promoting this workout this evening. Uh, thank you, the LA Running Club. Uh, they are donating their Zoom uh, link. This is their sponsorship, uh, the, the, the Zoom link, everything that you're hearing and seeing. And I also wanna thank the Malibu Half Marathon for promoting this. I wanna thank the LA Tri, Tri Club for promoting this, South Bay Running Club for promoting this, and USA Marathon Training in Griffith Park also for promoting this. They are doing the Santa Monica Classic this Saturday morning at the Children's Playground, Shane's Inspiration. If anyone wants to do the virtual run and record your time on the course, a 5K and 10K course, uh, you're welcome to join us. Everybody is. And that's Saturday at 7 o'clock. And uh, we're also doing a Boston virtual at Saturday at 6 o'clock. And you are almost three minutes into your five-minute warm-up. Besides our inspirational story today, we're also going to do a little form work with our metronome and, uh, and a bunch of other little things. So thanks, everybody, for joining. And we greatly appreciate it, because if you weren't here, we wouldn't be doing this. We wouldn't have anything to do. So thank you for joining us. Um, I am talking with other coaches to just kind of fill in for kicks, um, like Kathy, who's online right now, and another coach who I just emailed went back and forth. And so we may uh, be getting some other people beside myself, even though I enjoy doing it. I kind of like to share the limelight, so to speak. We got about an hour, uh, excuse me, an hour. We got about a minute and 15 left to go in our, our just total easy warm up before our workout begins. And good, you guys, you're doing great. I see some other people have joined us. Uh, Mike, Joan Wicks, uh, welcome you guys. Uh, I apologize, your mics are muted, but you can unmute them at any time you want just by swiping your finger across the screen and click on the little microphone icon that you will see as red with a little slash through it. The slash will go away. We have about 30 seconds to go in our little easy warm up. And hopefully those little kinks that you've been harboring all day long from sitting or not exercising are slowly melting away and your flexibility is increasing. And we have 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12. At the end of this, you're just gonna stop. You're not running fast. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's stop what you're doing. Good. With that in mind, you may want to take a look at your screen and stop so you don't trip yourself or trip on anything. And I'm going to walk you guys through a little warm up. Let me turn on a light so you can see me a little better. There we go. Hopefully you can see me now. And good. If you can, just kind of roll your foot, your ankle, your foot around like I'm doing now 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And the other direction. One, two, the other way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
And you don't have to hold your foot up so high. I'm just trying to get it on the camera. And here we go, the other foot. And begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the other direction, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For those of you who just joined us, this is just our warm up. And just put your hands on your knees and roll your knees around one direction about ten times, three, four, and the other direction. And welcome all of you who have just kind of jumped on. Good, and put your hands on your hips and put your, bring your hips to one side, just stretch out that little hip, and then we'll go back, and then stretch out the other hip, and then forward, stretch out your lower back just a little bit. Don't go too far forward or backward. We're stretching out our hips just with motion two, about 10 times, three, four, kind of like a hula hoop, five, six, seven, think hula hoop, eight, nine, and 10. Good, and the other direction, same thing. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 hips are a really big thing with flexibility. And let's uh, for hamstrings, just start engaging hamstring muscles, the back, back of your leg there. Here we go, just kick your leg up, just really gentle, two and three, about 10 times, four, a little back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the other leg, and begin, and one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. And let's just grab your ankle or your foot, just Loosen up those quads just a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're going for ten each. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, well, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20, good. And hang on one sec, whoops, sorry. And uh, whoop, why well, won't that, huh, anyway, good. And um, just standing calf stretch really quick, 10 seconds, begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and the other leg. Begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And with your one leg forward and the other back, I don't know if you can see this, here we go. And bring your arm up and just touch the side of your shoe there. And two, we're just putting weight on your leg to engage muscles that have been tired and not being used all day maybe, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and the other leg, same thing, and begin, and one, whoops, 
and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine and ten. Last movement of the evening, just squats with leaning forward and only bring your knees down to about a 90 degree angle, no more, or just come down a little bit. You don't have to do much. If, it, if there's any achiness involved, don't go down that far, only go down to what is comfortable. And here we go, ready? Begin, and one, and two. We're just engaging hip muscles, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Good, that is it. Oh, now some little plyometrics. Hang on one sec. Let me get rid of this, I just had a banner come up. There we go, good. And let's do a little plyometrics. We're gonna start with front kicks. We're just, we're gonna engage faster muscles before our fast run. So front kicks, then back kicks, like that. You don't have to kick your butt, although you could. And then high knee, which would be like that. But we're gonna do them in quick rhythm, quick succession, about the same rhythm that you would do if you were running, about 180 steps a minute. So front kicks first, here we go, ready? 20 count, begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and back kicks, just kick your heel up. And here we go, ready, begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And don't do these if you feel any pain or achiness, just do them really slow like I'm doing now. Here we go, and high knee, ready? And begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, good. Ah, so hopefully you are now revved up, ready to go, and no longer need to look at the screen because it's just gonna be my face. Uh, there we go. With that, let's, uh, you have a minute 30 jog, followed, this is just a jog, still warm up, followed by 15 seconds of marathon pace, then another jog, then more marathon pace, then another jog, and then 10K pace. So we're gonna speed it up a bit, and then a jog and then 10K pace again, and then a three minute jog at the end. And then we'll go right into our workout. So we're gonna start warming up. And when we are done running or walking, uh, we will be done with the whole evening. So here we go, everybody. It begins right now with a minute 30 jog or slow walk. This once again is just a warm up. And here you go, minute 30, just jog or slow walk. Or for run walkers, same thing, just a warm up. You can always do a little jog, a little walk, a little jog. Don't base it on time, base it on your breathing, really your heart rate. If your heart rate increases a little bit, that's what it's really all about. We're just keeping it slow and we are about 30 seconds into our minute 30. This will be followed by speeding up about 20% to marathon pace, if even, um, yeah, for 15 seconds. So we're gonna have you speed up to whatever marathon pace is for you, or just a little bit faster. 
in another 40 seconds. Good job, everybody. Great work. And we're coming up. We got 25 seconds to go and then Marathon Pace will jump right into it. No stopping. Uh, there will be some walking periods, but those will be timed as well. We'll go from one thing right into the next thing. 10 seconds, nine, here we go to Marathon Pace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and speed up a little, little bit. We're still on warm up. This is only marathon pace for 15 seconds. And there's 10, four, three, two, one, and slow it down again. You got a minute 30 jog. Slow it way down back to that jog or slow walk or really easy run walk minute 30 and you're about 15 seconds into it already that just and right after this next segment is 15 seconds marathon pace again then we're going to do another jog then we're going to do 10k pace the great thing about these little easy warm-ups is yes you give your body a chance to warm up but more importantly you're also getting some aerobic work that counts for endurance. It's the easy stuff, the low heart rate stuff, where you build the ability to go farther. Then when you do the speed work, like we're gonna do later tonight, that just raises your bar so that you can do the distance faster. But if you can't do the distance, and a lot of people do slow down toward the end of a marathon, if you can't do the distance for several reasons, you may not be getting in enough slow, easy work, which you may benefit from about 80% of your total volume at low intensity. So that's a big problem with a lot of non-pro athletes. Nine, eight, seven, here we go. Marathon pace again, six, five, four, three, two, one, and marathon pace, 15 seconds, and we're at about five seconds now into it already. 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down again. One minute and 30 seconds jog. This is going to be followed by a little bit faster. Now you're going from about 60, 55, 60% you're gonna jump up to about 80%. So no longer marathon pace. Next segment for only 15 seconds is going to be 10K pace, or maybe a little below 10K pace, or what you're capable of doing for six miles, but we're only doing for 15 seconds. So you have a little less than a minute to go before we speed up to 10K pace. I, I apologize for making all of you listen to me endlessly. Uh, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, we have 45 seconds. It's dangerous instead of be with all the cars turning and stuff. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So good. We are at about one minute, one minute now into our warm up, or just jog, and then we're going to go to 10K pace. Oops. Good job, you guys. Good. Um, we have four, five, four, three, two, here we go, one, and speed up to 10K pace for 15 seconds only. Now you're gonna really significantly speed up. And we got six, uh, five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down, We've got another minute 30 jog. This will be followed again by 15 seconds, 10K pace. So we'll speed it up one more time. Once again, you know, be careful of your surroundings. Please don't trip over anything. It's starting to get darker. 
Um, when you're running, be really careful if you're running in the dark. I'm hoping that people are running around lit areas rather than the dark, but always be mindful of any uneven surfaces or any kind of curb or little bumper that cars park against. And we have 45 seconds to go into our minute 30, then we speed up last time for 10K pace, then a final jog, and then we go into our workout. So we got about 30 seconds left, then we speed up to 10K pace for 15 seconds. Good job, you guys. Also, again, if you feel any lightheadedness, it may be because of the particulates in the air. Just stop, get some water, which you may want to do regularly anyways tonight. Good idea. 10, 9, 8, get ready to speed up. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and speed up. You have 15 seconds. 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine. You're at 10 seconds into your 15 second interval at 10K pace. Three, two, one, and stop. Then 130, easy pace again. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sneezing. I apologize, not 130. We have a three minute jog, three minute jog. And then we're gonna go jump right into our two minute high intensity effort work. Two minutes at about 80% of your maximum effort, meaning about 10K pace or a little below, or what we might call repetition pace if you're following V dot levels. And that will be followed by a two minute walk jog. Walk for walkers, jog for runners, and walk jog for walk runners. Did that make sense? I think. And we're about one minute into our three minute jog and then we're gonna speed up for that two minute period at 80% and then a two minute recovery. Great work, everybody. It's just a really easy jog. So tonight's topic again, is what is the difference between the way pro athletes think and non-pro athletes think? You might find this interesting. We're at a minute 30 or halfway through our three minute jog. And hopefully you're just feeling this is so easy warm up stuff. It's about seven o'clock. We're right on target to start our high intensity workout, which will begin in, fifth, uh, in about a minute 15 with that two minute high effort. Great work, everybody. We are about two minutes into our three minute jog or slow walk. Um, the key to success in life and in running or walking or run walking, as I see it, is really enabling yourself through the greatest adversity to somehow maintain a positive mindset. Um, we have 30 seconds left to go. And that's really what tonight's discussion is all about. It's how pro athletes manage to maintain a positive mindset where we may not. Uh, 20 seconds, less than 20 seconds to go. And then we're gonna speed up for that two minute period. And then I'll talk again with you guys when you're recovering for two minutes. So two minutes fast coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Here you go. And speed up to that 10K pace, 80% of your maximum ability. And we are at 10 seconds. 15 seconds into your high intensity, two minute hard effort. Good job, you guys. Great work.
good. We are at 45 seconds into your two minute interval at high intensity. The high intensity is raising the bar, engaging faster muscles, and essentially, in a nutshell, raising the bar on your ability to go fast, in this case, for a short period. You are one minute into a two minute period. Minute five, it's going fast. Great work, you guys. Don't forget, don't do your first high intensity effort too hard. It's only 80%, not 90, 95, 100. It's only 80%. Key, hold yourself back a little more so you can finish the whole workout tonight. We're at a minute and a half into our two minute effort, 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds to go, and then we'll slow it down for two minutes. 20 seconds to go, and then we'll walk or, well, recover and walk, everybody. <laughs> 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And everybody shut it down and walk. And when you recover, you runners, when you recover, uh, just start jogging a little bit. And walkers, you could speed up a little bit, but not much. You know, this is really a recovery. You, we want you to completely recover for your next hard intensity effort. We're gonna be doing three sets of a minute and a half. That's the only two minute, that's the longest and the only two minute set we're gonna to do tonight. Now coming up, three one and a half minute sets. Coming up. Um, you know, let me tell you about my leaf. You recall the leaf picture. That leaf is in my back, kind of my backyard. I, I live in a small apartment and I enter through that little air, tiny area walkway when we come in through the back. And every time I do, I bang my head on that leaf. Keep in mind it's a leaf. You know, it's not like a bar or a piece of wood, it's a leaf. It, it's always there. But that leaf on a daily basis is the bane of my existence and I bump it every day and I'll tell you what I think about it. It angers me and I think that leaf is out to get me and it's driving me nuts and I'm gonna chop the damn leaf down and I'm gonna get rid of the rotten, disgusting, despicable leaf, even though it is part of a really big, pretty bird of paradise plant. Screw that, the leaf goes. With that in mind, we are almost at two minute period and I will continue my story after our next high intensity effort. Minute and a half coming up in three, two, one, and let's speed up to high intensity. My story will continue after this. And good. And if you thought my story was a little crazy, you're on the right track. <laughs> good job, you guys. We're 20 seconds into a minute 30 high intensity, about 10K pace effort. Great work. I see a lot of you kind of zooming by. Good job, everybody. Great effort. We're at 40 seconds into a minute and a half total. So half, we're at 50 seconds. So 40 seconds left to go. Great work. So this is our first set of three. And actually I typed this out wrong. At the end of this, we have a minute 30 walk or then walk jog. We have 14, 13, 12 before you shut it down and walk. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's walk. Everybody's walking. And then for you runners, 
when you recover uh, from walking, your heart rate's a little lower, your breathing rate is lower, then you can jog a little bit. You don't wanna let your heart rates come down too far. We wanna keep our heart rate a little elevated even during the recovery period, but we wanna totally recover. So you're 20 seconds into a minute 30, minute 30 recover, then we go our second minute 30, same 10K pace, we're doing it all over again. So to get back to my insane story, the problem is, is I am doing something a lot of us do regarding my leaf. I am thinking of how the world affects me. I am not thinking on how the wor I affect the world. In other words, how am I affecting this leaf? We're a minute into a minute 30 recovery period. If I cut the leaf down, I'll be reducing shade in my own environment. I'll be reducing the world's ability essentially to filter air. And God knows on a day like today, we need plants and trees to filter bad pollution and particulates and air. And to be continued, nine, eight, we're gonna speed up again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And here we go, speed up for a minute 30, go. Second set of three, minute 30, high intensity, 10K pace. Guys are doing great. The story will be continued as soon as you are done with this high intensity effort. Great work, everybody. I hope none of you are feeling lightheaded because of the pollution out there. If you are, just stop immediately, get some water, relax. We are 37 seconds into our minute 30 and our second minute 30 set of three. Halfway, 45 seconds. Great work, you guys. 50 seconds of a minute 30. And it's 30 seconds to go of our second of three sets. 25, 20, 15, and then a minute 30 recovery period. So just walk. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and walk. This is just really easy, slow walk for your walkers. Walk for now for your runners and run walkers. And then when your heart rate comes down a little, your breathing rate comes down a little, once again, start jogging a little bit, but just jog just to maintain a little heart rate so you don't drop all the way down to a, you know more of a resting period. Good job, everybody. Good. We're about to go into our third set. Whoops. What the heck did I do? <laughs> uh, good job, everyone. Good. I will finish our story completely in after the next set, which is coming up in 30 seconds. Minute 30 coming up again, high intensity, same as you just did, 80% of your maximum capacity, or about 10K pace, repetition pace. And here we go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, ready? One, and minute 30, go. Here we go. High intensity, minute 30. You're already about 10 seconds into it. Good job, everybody. Actually, while we're at it, let's... Put on a little metronome. Oh, 
try and get your rhythm, your touching of your foot to the ground, a little shorter, a little faster. That's not to say you're running faster because of this, but just faster rhythm. You have 45 seconds left to go in your minute and a half set. This is the last minute and a half. Then we have five one minute only sets, five one minute only sets after our recovery. And 30 seconds left to go into our final minute 30 segment. Then we have six 45 second segments. We're really getting into more short, fast segments at a little higher, a little higher intensity coming up. So hopefully you've saved up a little energy. 10, 9, 8, we get ready to shut it down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and everybody walk it out for a minute and a half. There you go. Minute and a half, walk, and you runners, when your heart rates come down a little bit, your breathing rate comes down a little bit, then you can jog. Uh, just really easy, slow. So, if I were to cut that down, that leaf, I would be thinking of how the world affects me. In other words, a leaf tapping me on the head, it doesn't hurt. It taps me on the head every time I walk by it because I'm looking down at the ground because I just walked up these three little steps. Instead, I could be thinking how that leaf filters air, gives me shade. How does that, how does that, how do I affect the world and that leaf versus how does that leaf affect me? And if you think about it, that's, I'll tell you a story. We have 30 seconds left to go. That's exactly how, and I'll tell you the story after our next set. That's exactly how pro athletes think. They see how they affect the world. They don't look or consider how the world affects them. And I will prove that case in point. You're about to speed up again in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go and speed up. This is a minute only. I'd like everyone to speed up to about 85%. So it's about 5% faster. This is more like a little slower than 5K pace rather than 10K pace. So it's a little slower than 5K pace. Next set, couple of, then we're gonna do five of these and then we're gonna do 45 second sets after these five and those are going to be even faster at a little faster than 5K pace at 90%. And great work, everybody. <clears throat> You're at 15 seconds of your one minute set. So you have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ready to walk, one, and shut it down for one minute, walk, and then runners, of course, jog when you recover, and run walkers, kind of the same. And here's the story. You have probably experienced an athlete being interviewed before the game, being interviewed before the race, being interviewed before the basketball, soccer, football, tennis, whatever it is, game and you're 30 seconds into your one minute recovery. They're all asked the same question, and I'll explain this after your next high intensity workout, which is coming up in 20 seconds. The question is this, the competition is pretty fierce. There's the Ethiopian who won the world record last year, the Kenyan who almost did the same. How do you feel about your race today? Are you afraid? Here we go, speeding up in three, two, one, for a second set of one minute, and go. We'll discuss that story in one minute. You are 10 seconds into your one minute, 85% of your maximum capacity effort. We have 40 seconds to go. And here's that metronome. 
try and find your rhythm, that short, quick stride. It's less pounding the more times you start, you you touch the pavement, the more times you um, support your, shall we say, falling. We have 15 seconds to go in the one minute. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Get ready to shut it down. 4, 3, 2, 1. And you're all walking for one minute. One minute recovery and like I say as always runners walk for a bit and jog and walkers just slow it down keep it a slow comfortable walk and you could speed it up a hair once you recover a bit walkers 20 seconds into our one minute recovery so the key is they're asked are you afraid of the competition? Are they making you nervous? Do you think, what do you, how do you see your race today? The pro athlete doesn't really know how to respond because they don't view the competition and how the world affects them. They view themselves as how they affect the competition. And I'll tell you the answer to that. In 10, 9, we're going to speed up again. 8, 7, 6, 5, again, 1 minute, 4, 3, 2, one, here we go. And one minute at that 85%. This is your third set of five of one minute. Then we're going to drop down to 45 second sets and then we're done. So you are 15 seconds already in your one minute effort on your, I believe, yeah, third set. And great work, everybody. Here's that metronome again. 30 seconds to go, a little less, 25, 20, 15 seconds to go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, get ready to shut it down and walk, 2, one, and you're done. There you go. And shut that off. Good. So you got one minute, just walk, walk, jog, walk, jog, whatever, and recovery. Then we go into our fourth and then fifth of these and we're done. Fourth of five sets in one minute. And then we do 45 seconds. So they're not, they don't know what to say at first usually because they're thinking about how they affect competition how they affect the world, not how the competition affects them, not how the world affects them. We non-pro athletes, sadly, look at how the world affects us. Are we too slow? I don't care if you're a walker or a runner or a run walker. Are we going to be viewed as not good enough? No, 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 no. You know, I know a runner who is very fast, one of the fastest on track. Up, oh, we're going to start up again. I'm sorry. Here we go. In three, two, one, fourth set, speed up and go. Fourth of five sets. Here we go. And I'll finish that thought in, a, in really one minute, less than one minute. We're at 15 seconds in your one minute. These go very fast. seconds in your one minute set. Forty seconds. Twenty seconds to go. Great work, you guys. Fifteen to go. And here we go. Ready to shut it down in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and walk everybody. And you got one minute recovery before our fifth and final one minute set. Then we have six 45 second sets and we are done for the evening. 
The 45 second sets, I'd like you guys to speed it up just a little hair more to 90%. So now you're at about 5K pace, a little faster than 5K pace. You're, you decide if you're not able to really push it a little bit harder, you may have done your first lap, your first two minute set, maybe a little too fast. Maybe your first few sets a little too fast. And one minute to go in 20 seconds. I know a very fast runner who wanted to be a walker because he thought walkers were so cool because they, they, it was a different thing. It was a totally different move. And here we go in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go and begin. And one, and one minute, last one minute at 85% effort. So don't ever look at yourself and view how the world views you. Look at yourself and how you view the world the same as pro athletes do. And here we go. We're at 20 seconds into our last one minute set of five. <clears throat> then we have a one minute uh, walk jog and then 45 second sets. 30 seconds into our set. Forty seconds in your one minute set. Fifteen seconds again. Get ready to shut it down and walk. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shut it down, everybody. And walk. That was five one minute sets. The next, you have one minute recovery. Then we have 45 second sets and six of them. Six 45 second sets with 90% effort now, a little harder at 5K pace or maybe a little faster than 5K pace, but only 45 seconds. You got about 30 seconds left to go. So remember, you guys are amazing. If you wanna compare yourself to anybody, Compare yourself to the entire world, not just the people on track or that you see at your club. Look at all the people in the world, two thirds of which do not exercise regularly, cannot do anywhere, not even the first two minute set that you guys just did. I don't care if you're a walker, run walker or runner, they can't do it. So you guys are all absolutely amazing but don't even look at yourself through the eyes of the world. Look at how you affect others. And I'll continue on that note. Here we go, 45 seconds in three, two, one, and go for 45 seconds. 45 seconds, higher intensity, 90% effort. We have six of these, so it's not 100%, it's only 90. We have six of these to go, then we're done for the night. And then we will have a group stretch at the very end. We'll actually have a five minute jog at the very end to cool down. And after that jog, we'll have a group stretch, be it standing or, or lying down on the ground. If you can find a spot that's comfortable that you can lie on the ground, uh, all the better. And we're coming up on 40. We're shutting it down to five, four, three, two, one, and walk it, shut it down for 45 seconds. And again, you guys are all amazing, every single one of you, but don't view yourself as how the world views you. View yourself as how the world, how you, how you, excuse me, how the, how you affect the world around you. In other words, those people who can't do what you do, be it walkers, run walkers, or runners, which is most of the planet, you inspire them to be you. Take a look at that and how you affect the world, not ever how the world affects you. You will be far more positive. You will be far stronger. You will be far more inspired and you will have far greater capacity to inspire those around you. 
Here we go in 45 seconds, second set in three, two, one, and begin your high intensity effort. Second set, 45 seconds only. And here we go, go ahead. You are 10 seconds into it. I'm going to play the metronome a little bit in the background. 15 seconds, 30 to go. 40 seconds into it. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You're at 25 seconds into it. 30 seconds into 45. 10 seconds left to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and shut it down for 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Second set of six is done. You have four more to go. Three, the third is coming up in about 30 seconds. These go really fast, these short, short sets. You got, we're 25 seconds into 45 recovery, 20 seconds left to go. Make that 15 seconds left to go in recovery. Get ready to speed up in 10 seconds. And here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Number three, here we go and begin high intensity, 90% effort again but 5K pace, third of six, six sets. Great effort, you guys. Excellent. I cannot tell you how many people say to me, the but, and the but is, oh, and it doesn't matter whether they're walkers, run walkers, runners, the but is always the same. But I'm so slow. <laughs> because they're looking at how the world views them. They're not looking at how they affect the world. So let's change that, everybody. And we're at three, two, shut it down in one and slow it down and walk. And another, the third set is done. We're 45 minutes in recovery before your fourth set of six. These are going really fast. 15 seconds now into your, your third recovery of six sets. And 25 seconds, 20 to go. Got 15 seconds to go. Great work, you guys. Good. Here we go, three, two, one. Speed it up, your fourth set, and go. Good job, everybody. Great work. By the way, thanks to everybody who's joining us even on cell phone or just their own phone. Um, you're at 10 seconds to go in your fourth 45 minutes, set, 40 second set, you're five, four, three, two, one, get ready to shut it down and slow down and walk. You have 45 second recovery. You're about to start your fifth of six 45 second sets. And then we're done. Then we have a cool down jog for five minutes and then a stretch, group stretch, standing or lying down. The lying down is more effective. 30 seconds into your 45 second set. 35, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down and walk. You have 45 seconds before your final set of the night. Make this one count.
Make this one coming up count your last set of the night. You can even speed it up at the end, especially the last 10 seconds. We're in our final recovery, and then we'll have a jog after this, a five minute jog after this. So the key is stay positive. And even though that leaf bumps me on the head every night, I can appreciate that my leaf is there to keep me in shade and to keep my air filtered and get rid of particulates because I view it as how I affect the world and not wanting to tear down a leaf and not how the world affects me and how the, the leaf affects me. And here we go, final set in three, two, one, and last 45 second set. Let's make this one great. 90 second percent effort for 5K pace. Last, last time you will hear the metronome tonight. Here we go. And we're at 15 seconds, 30 to go. This is it. Final hard effort of the night. Five, uh, after this five minute cool down jog or walk. And you are at 30 seconds into it. 15 to go. And 10 to go here. Speed it up if you can. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, five, four, three, two, one. And congratulations, everybody. Let's slow it down for three minutes, five minutes, excuse me, five minutes walk. And then runners, when you're ready and you're a little recovered, jog it out for uh, we have uh, four minutes and 45 seconds to go as of now. Great work, you guys. Congratulations. I can only hope you enjoyed my long, <laughs> odd, obnoxious diatribe about my leaf and how pro athletes think versus how non-pro athletes think is they don't worry about the competition they think, you know, the competition is going to be worried about me, damn it. And that's the way they think. Um, listen to any, any interview before any race or any event, and they just don't know how to answer that question. How are you going to do tonight? You're a little afraid of the competition? It's going to be tough out there. Yeah. Uh, they view as how they view, they view themselves as how they affect the competition not how the competition is going to affect them. They're going to do their best. They have a point where they're going to break away. They're going to stick to their game plan, which they think is going to put them ahead of the rest. Uh, you know, all those things. They never say, oh, yeah, you will never hear somebody say, the competition has scared the hell out of me. Never, ever, 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 ever will you hear a pro athlete say that ever. It's how the competition should be afraid of me, damn it, not me be afraid of them. So let that be a lesson to all of you at all levels, because I hear it the same thinking, the same mindset, no matter how slow or fast you are, it's always the same thing. Oh, well, I'm really slow. <laughs> No more. Uh, you got 50 seconds le left to go. Excuse me. We're two minutes, 15 seconds into our five minute final recovery jog. And then we'll do a group stretch. And it's all over for yet another night here and Wednesday night on our virtual track workout. Again, thanks to all those groups uh, who helped promote this, especially we got the LA Running Club, our Zoom channel from them, and a USA Marathon Training, South Bay Running Club, LA Leggers. I'm not sure I mentioned the Leggers earlier. Thank you so much, the LA Leggers. And um, uh, let's see, who else did I forget? Oh, and Malibu Half Marathon. Thanks for putting it out there. And absolutely, again, the LA Tri Club. We are three minutes into our five minute cool down jog. Thanks to all those groups for helping to promote this effort. We're a little smaller tonight, though surprisingly not really. And uh, I think next week we'll probably be back up in full. Hopefully these fires 
stop. And hopefully all you guys have found a place where you can run that's lit in safety. Uh, and if you can find a place to lie down that's kind of lit and not wet grass or not rocky or not uncomfortable pavement, but something comfortable, uh, you know, the padding of a children's playground or your, your own carpet in your living room, if you make it home. Uh, we have a little over a minute to go in our recovery jog. Uh, li lying down stretches are the best because you can take all the weight off your legs and extremities, your back. You can support your back. These stretches absolutely support your, your back. And we have 45 seconds left to go in our recovery. Slow walk, uh, run walk, or slow jog. Actually, jog is about as slow as you can run. The, 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 the term jog defines, uh, is defined by any slower and you're walking because when you're running or jogging, you have at least both feet off the ground for a fraction of a second usually about a third of a second. And when you're walking, you have one foot on the ground the whole time. That's the difference between jogging and walking. Um, you can walk in some cases a lot faster than you can jog, by the way. And there we go, five minutes. Thanks everybody, great workout. Let's get on the ground, or if you don't have ground, let's stand up. I'm gonna get back so you can see me. And I'll give you both the standing version and the lying version of our stretches as we go. We got about 20 minutes to eight o'clock. We're right on track with time. So the first stretch, if you guys are ready, is really stretch out those glutes in the back just by bringing your knee toward your chest. It's kind of tough to do and stabilize that. Bring your knee toward your chest. You'll stretch out your glutes. Everybody else, let's get on the ground. We'll do that on the ground. The same exact stretch, knee to chest. And you guys standing, whoops, can do the same stretch with me, timed out while you're standing. And hopefully you can all see me. Here we go, just lie back and all that weight off your back, support your back. If you're flexible enough, you can, you can straighten your other leg. If not, bend your knee and just bring that knee toward your head. I'm wearing my nice, exciting, stripey pants so you can kind of see the angle. And here we go. Ready? Begin L1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the stretch. And second set, here we go, same stretch once again. Begin and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release the stretch. Third and final set of ten, do these three sets. Begin and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's switch legs, the other, the other leg, same stretch. Standing people, same thing, here we go. Begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Release that stretch, that leg. Begin, second set, and just lie your head back. I'm only holding my head up so I can see you guys. Begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release, and third and final set of this. Begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Give me one second to just expand my view here if I can. You guys are doing great. And here we go. There we go. Perfect. Now I can see everybody. Kind of. 
This time, again, lie back, bring one thigh across your other thigh, and bring that closest thigh, and I'll show you the standing version in a second. Bring that, your knee toward your head, and then with your opposite arm, pull it over so you're extending your lower hip. This is a pure form of stretch, which is right in that little area that you hopefully feel right in there, the lower part of your hip. Stretch that. Those of you standing can do the exact same stretch with just kind of sitting into it like this. You're kind of sitting down. I don't know if you can see me. You're stretching that lower part of your hip once again. Here we go, back to the ground. For me, the more, kind of a more efficient way of doing it, begin to end five seconds. We'll do six seconds. And begin at one, two, three, four, five, release. And second set, begin, same thing. And one, two, three, four, five, release. And third set, and begin. And one, two, three, four, five, release. And fourth set, begin. And one, two, three, four, five. And fifth set, begin. And one, two, three, four, five. And last one, and begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's switch legs the other direction, the other leg. And here we go. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And second set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And third set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And fourth set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. And fifth set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. And last one. And begin. And one, two, three, four, and five. Let's roll over on your side. And standing people can do the same stretch standing up. Let's see if I can get into view here. Um, lie all the way down, put your head on your arm, and grab your shoe, standing people, same thing. And you'll note my leg here, just you're standing on your leg. And it's a quad stretch. Bring your, your, upper, your upper leg back and up. And so it's just out of your peripheral vision. And it should remain fairly parallel, like close to the other leg. Here we go. And five seconds. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And second set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And third set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Five and fourth set, begin, and one, two, three, four, five, and fifth set, begin, and one, two, three, four, five, and last one, and begin, and one, two, three, four, and five. Let's all roll over the other direction. Same stretch. I'm only turning around so I can see you guys. You don't really need to turn around. Same stretch. And here we go. Good. Standing people, same thing as well. Here we go. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And second set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, Five, release, and third set, begin, and one, two, three, four, five, release, and fourth set, begin, and one, two, three, four, five, and fifth set, begin, and one, two, three, four, 
five, and last one, and begin. Now one, two, three, four, five. Let's all sit up. Um, for those of you standing, this would be your stretch. Um, you're going to have one foot uh, perpendicular to your other foot. Got it? Reach out and just you're going to stretch that inner thigh. That's going to be the standing version. And then, of course, go back the other direction to stretch out your other thigh. Once we switch legs, everybody else sit down, put both your feet together, grab your ankle as I'm doing, or your shoes, either one, push down with your elbows on your inner thigh, your adductor muscles, your ad with a D, adductor muscles, and here we go. I try and maintain a fairly straight back, and here we go. Begin now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the stretch. Second set. Begin now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Release the stretch. Third and final set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to turn so you can see me. Hamstring stretch. For those of you standing, just keep your one leg in, your other leg straight. We're going to stretch out that hamstring on the back. For those of you standing, if you have a curb or something you can put your foot up on, I'm going to use my couch, which my wife will not be pleased with, but I'm going to just put your foot up on something and lean forward. You'll feel that stretch in the back, the back of your leg. Hopefully you can kind of see me, but you get the idea. Here we go. Begin and 10 seconds. And let's do five seconds. Sorry. One. Here we go. Begin and one, two, three, four, five, release. Again, try and keep your back relatively straight. Second set, begin, and one. One, two, three, four, five, release. And third set, begin, and one, two, three, four, five. And fourth set, and begin, and one, two, three, four, Five and fifth set and begin. Now one, two, three, four, five, and last one and begin. And one, two, three, four, and five. And let's switch legs. Same stretch the other direction. I'm pulling my one leg in towards my the, the arch of my foot is basically where your knee is. That's pretty much where my other leg is. And here we go. Standing, just switch legs. Here we go. Begin. And one. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And second set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five. Release. And third set. Begin. And one, two, three. Oh my God. I got it. Right. And fourth set. Yeah. Two, David, David, it's one. Kathy, uh -huh. and all the race walkers say thank you so much for oh, what you do for us. And fifth set, thanks you guys. And one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Oh, we're almost done with stretch. Last one, begin. And one, two, three, four, five. And Kathy, thanks so much for joining us. Get on one knee if you're comfortable to do that. Um, or you can do the standing version if it's tough to get on one knee. I'm going to use a pillow and cheat, but the standing version would be very similar. Just bend your back leg so you feel it kind of right, right in that, that inner thigh there, which you can't really see. Let's switch. Right in that inner thigh, just really, really gently stretch out that inner thigh muscle. Not really hard, just real gentle. And I'm going to do it on the ground. Here we go. Ready? 
and begin, stretch forward, bring your arms up over your head to stretch out your upper back, which you can't really see me doing, and begin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the stretch. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm pushing in with my back leg, pushing down with my top leg, what we call muscle release. So you're generating force. And here we go. Ready? Begin, second set. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release. Third and final set. Begin. And one, two, three, <clears throat> four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch legs. Oops. I need to go back a little. Here we go. It's tough when you have a couch in the way. Begin. And one. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, release the stretch. Second set of three, begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And third and final set on this leg, begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's all stand up for the final stretch of the night. Standing calf stretch. Hopefully you can kind of see me. Standing calf stretch. There we go. There we go. So one leg back with your foot in line with your eyesight. And your other front foot doesn't matter. It's just, uh, here we go. Begin standing straight leg calf raise. Calf stretch. Begin and one, two, three, 10 seconds, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the stretch. Second set. Begin and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release and third and final set. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch legs. And same stretch. Here we go. Begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release. Second set and begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Third and final set. This is it for the night. And begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let me unmute all of you guys in case anyone has a question that you want to ask. But uh, again, thanks you guys, everybody for joining us tonight. And, um, and there we go. And I'm going to turn off our recording of this and say good night, but I am still going to be here even though we're going to stop